What's up everyone, welcome to the Durbin Compound. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Devin Durbin. I'm here to bring you the tools, tips, and tricks to make you more self-sufficient. Today we are talking about the Bain Ultra Air Tub. So there are many options on Bain Ultra's tubs and there are so many things that you can uh, get and not get and all the different options. You need to go through a dealer or your local supply house to uh, kind of spec out the tub that you want. I'm going to show you the basic down and dirty uh, functions and what you should expect on setting one up. In next or in uh, videos down the road, we will fire the tub up after I get it all plumbed in. But I wanted to show you guys the behind the scenes and what to expect when you are either looking at purchasing one or you're a contractor that is talking about installing one for the first time. Stay tuned. Okay, so after you've received your Bain Ultra tub, uh, you can turn it over on its side and you can see a couple of the things that you're going to need to attach. So the airline for the actual air tub here is a spa hose. Um, so I will show you upstairs, but there is a remotely located uh, a remotely located turbine and you have to locate it somewhere within uh, I think the the spec is 15 feet from where the tub is you can do it in inch and a half PVC or you can do it in uh, in spa hose so I chose to do my setup in inch and a half PVC but it has to be plumbed remotely somewhere and then the air is fed to the tub so that is how the bain ultra gets its air jets is the remotely located turbine so along with the turbine you have to have your electrical harness that plugs into your turbine so this cord is is pretty long um, I would say it's about 13 feet long, so it's not going to get you that maximum distance uh, to where you need it to go. So uh, if, you were, if you were to put it at 15 feet, this cord is not going to get you the whole distance. And this is a proprietary cord. I hope that this will focus. Maybe, maybe it won't. Um, but it's a proprietary cord. It cannot be plugged in anywhere else. It's a goofy looking cord. Um, also, you have a hot water line that also needs plumbed into a drop ear or, or something just below the tub. So I'm working on plumbing the plumbing in for this, uh, but this is for the guy's air, uh, the hot water hookup to the guy's air. Uh, basically what it is is a, a coil that goes around the air pipe as far as I know. Uh, coil that goes around the air pipe that warms up the backrest and all that stuff. So um, there are just a couple connections like that that you need to worry about getting the infrastructure to before you go up and take uh, this tub up and set it into place. So let's go upstairs and I'll show you guys the infrastructure that I have so far. Okay, so what we're looking at right now is the cutout that's going to be directly under the drain side of the tub. So right where we were talking about the drain uh, and where everything comes into the tub, um, there's a layout or basically a, a template that comes with your Bain Ultra tub and we'll tell you exactly where to cut this square out. So you can lay it out on the floor and cut your square out. So this pipe right here is where my guy's air, uh, turbine air comes in from my inch and a half PVC over here, comes through the floor and up into the tub. So where my spa hose uh, comes out of the tub will connect to here. There's a small hose bib here or a, uh, a uh, drop ear here that has the connection for that hot water line. So I will plumb hot water from over here and then down and over to my drop ear so that I can connect my hot water. And then of course I just have my regular uh, two inch PVC drain that's coming straight out of the bottom of the tub. So those three connections need to go there. So that water line to the guy's air will go here onto my drop ear for my hot water. My spa hose will go on here for the turbine. I'll show you the turbine in a second. And then I will need that wiring harness to go down through the hole, back over and up through another hole that I've yet to drill here. And it will come back up out of the floor and go to my turbine. Now, if I had a, uh, a, 
a control panel, which I'll show you here in a second. If I had the control panel inside of the tub or it was pre-installed in the tub, that control panel wire would also need to go down through this hole over and up through the wall over to my turbine. So now I'm gonna show you guys where I put my turbine. So my turbine is located right up from my hole here. So I have my floor drain hole here and then it comes over and up and to my turbine. So I'm going to bring you close to the turbine. Okay, so I ordered my Bain Ultra with the, uh, the control panel separate because I wanna mount this control panel in the wall. So it has a harness that's gonna go through the wall that's going to connect here into my turbine. Okay, so if I, dis if I wanted that installed in the tub, this would already be installed in the shell of the tub, and then I would have to bring my harness down and out up through here. So if you get items like chromotherapy, um, things like that, it will require another circuit. So I have a dedicated circuit. It has to be a dedicated 20 amp because it has a 20 amp plug on it. And so it needs to be a dedicated 20 amp circuit. Once you plug it in, your screen will come to life and then uh, you can turn on your uh, tub just by hitting the power button. So this, this uh, turbine here needs a certain airflow. Um, I think in the manual it says eight inches by two inches. I think it's 16 square inches in order to operate correctly. So it needs to have an air vent. This one will eventually be installed in a custom cabinet with a, uh, a, a basically a grate so that it can feed with air. But it goes down here through the pipe, through the floor or through the wall and over to my drain here in the floor. All the joys of YouTube and struggling with the camera. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you, you're just gonna do it in one of one of two ways. You're gonna either have the, the Bain Ultra uh, control panel in the tub and you have to feed this wire from, from the tub over to the turbine or you have the turbine, uh, you know, the plug still has to go over to the turbine for the guys there. So there are a couple different things that you need to figure out. But first and foremost, if you're installing one for a customer, you have to have a remote location for this turbine to be powered and so that it doesn't make a ton of noise. So I hope this explains the down and dirty of exactly what it takes to install one of these air tubs. And yeah, if you got any questions, let me know. All right, guys, I hope you found that video informational and helpful. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments below. Uh, feel free to reach out. Uh, in next, in a few episodes, um, we will show exactly, uh, when I get my floor tile done, I will show you uh, how the tub mounts, how it plums up, and uh, just how everything works. But we have a long time to go before that. And... Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into, and we'll see you guys in the next video.